What are some yeah. things for the next training camp that you could avoid those mistakes from the last camp? From the last moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Be more on my toes. More, uh, you know, be more on my toes, more alert. Hit the combinations in the pockets and, you know, don't try to get hit too much. Talking about your division at 140, man. Terrence Crawford is supposedly be moving up, um, right. vacating all the titles, man. So it leaves that division open, open, man. So what's the impact that you could leave in that division and possibly see you win a world title well, down you know, the road? as everybody's dream and everybody's goal become champion you know and uh right now you know i'm 14 2 i have to climb up there you know but as soon as i get to the top that's where i want to set my goals or you know or call out anybody you know but right now i'm working my way up um just I'm shooting for the stars man i'm ready to get up there one day but right now right now you know uh, i would like Travis carford i look up to him you know i look up to him um great Great, smart fighter, man. He can box. He can box you right-handed, left-handed. He's just smart, man. He's he's talented. Talking about uh, fights, sparring. You know, you talked about Marcus Maidana. Tell me how difficult Marcus Maidana is, and maybe the impact he has for your career. Yeah, Marcus Maidana, man. That's one of the greatest sparrings I had. Great learning experience. Uh, with him, it was it was kind of difficult and um, awkward. He don't have no boxing techniques, you know. But um, he does have that pop and. Uh, he, you know, he'd be throwing punches out of different angles. It was a great learning experience. I was training with Robert Garcia back in Oxnard um, for three and a half years, and uh, I had great sparring out there. World champions, Brandon Rios, Mike Garcia, you know, we mentioned Madonna, uh, John John Molina. We, you know, I had great, great camps out there. And um, right now, I'm with um, Leo's father and Leo's camp, it's a whole different training for me. I came in here, I was learning more things. Right here, they want you to have the guard up. Don't try to take too much punches. Um, but uh, like I give it to Rod Garcia, he's one of the best trainers out there and he was mission for it for a reason. And also I like this training camp, you know, um, I like to learn new things and I want a new school, new everything. So everything's, look, you know, it's just, everything's working out great right now. Talk about the trainers. What's the difference between Robert Garcia and Don Josue Santa Cruz, in well, your opinion? Well, in my opinion, it, you know, every trainer has your, your style. Yeah. Uh, as for me, uh, I'm learning and adapting to this new style with Don Jose. Uh, they want you to throw more combinations, more straight punches. And I'm used to, since I've been training Robert Garcia and Brandon Reels was my amateur trainer, and how Brandon started his career with Robert Garcia, he taught his dad how to train as Robert Garcia. So I have my yeah. I have my technique as Brandon Reels and all that. So right now I'm, I'm learning more movement, more side steps and all that. And uh, like I said, I love the combinations of uh, and the way Robert Garcia trains, man. He's an excellent trainer, combinations and everything, man. Uh, you know, but uh, this is a whole different school, and I'm also I'm I'm adapting slowly by slowly as a fighter. Do you want to send any sh any shout outs where we can follow you, man? IG. Yeah, man. Uh, any shout outs? Uh, I want to shout out to my people back home from Garden City, Kansas. You know, always repping. There you go. <laughs> always repping, man, and. Um, for all the kids out there, hopefully, you know, we're support, as well as, you know, Brandon Reels, uh, Victor Ortiz, Antonio Rosco, they, they all give us uh, hope and motivation to become someone in boxing one day as they made it out there. And uh, and the local people out here in California, they really don't know me, um, but, but little by little, we're getting that little fan base, so I give them a shout out. You can follow me on on, on Facebook, Herbert Acevedo, Instagram, Acevedo1, Snapchat Hurricane One Ace and uh, Twitter at 323 Acevedo. Scott with AB Boxing News and Herbert Acevedo, thank you for the time, man. Always thank you.